What's up everyone, Mr. JPA33 here bringing you guys a video on how to become a better Modern Warfare 3 player. First thing I like to touch on is kill streaks. Choose your kill streaks wisely because I know a lot of people that I play with try to go for Reapers or maybe try to go for Pavlos, but they end up only getting about one to two kills and then dying and not getting any kill streaks whatsoever. So choose your kill streaks that um, apply to your gaming type. So if you only get about two to three kills and then a death, choose a UAV, maybe even a Predator missile. That's because that's going to help you out and it's also going to help the team out to be able to win the game. So if you don't even get two to three kills, let's say you just get a kill, die, get a kill, die, put on support package because you can still die and the kills that you've gotten still count towards your kill streak even with deaths. So keep using that until you practice more. Once you get better and start getting higher kill streaks, you can start putting on those higher kill streaks like Reaper and Pay Blows and AC 130s guys. Second thing I like to talk about is your surroundings. Now use your surroundings to your advantage guys because I see a lot of people that just stand out in the middle of the map or go to highly populated places on the map and just get picked off left and right because they're not using their surroundings. If you see a barrier or you see a wall, use that to your advantage, guys. A lot of people call it head glitching. If you pop out, go back into crouch mode, pop out, shoot some, and go back into crouch mode. That is technically called head glitching, and a lot of people get mad about that. But, guys, it helps you uh, be more protected so you're not just out in the middle shooting. You actually have a wall to cover you, and it gives the enemy a smaller target to shoot to. So, if I were you guys, use your surroundings. Really look around the maps. If you have to, go into a private match, maybe check out the map that you're about to play, learn some of the spots on the map, and then go play, guys. That's what I used to do, and it's helped me out a lot. Third thing I like to talk about is perks. Use your perks to your advantage also, to what type of gun you're using, or how your game type, or you how you play the game. I rush a lot, so guys, I'm going to set my perks to what helps me the most rushing if you camp a lot use the perks that are going to give you an advantage to camping like a lot of snipers use trophy system so predator missiles and missiles will not kill them so use your perks to your advantage guys don't use stupid perks that aren't going to benefit you at all fourth thing is attachments now a lot of people try to get challenges for attachments and or for their gun and put on stupid attachments and I mean I can see if you're trying to get a challenge for the gun use those attachments but otherwise if you're not good with them don't try to play with them. I see too many people on Xbox Live try to be the next X Jaws or the next White Boy 7th Street using whatever guns they use and they end up not being successful with them. Pick the weapons that that you're good at and stick with them don't try to be someone that you're not well i mean don't try to use guns that other people are using that are like famous as for x jaws he's pretty big in youtube a lot of people see his videos and see he's using a striker with grip or well, let's go use that or if he's using pm9 with south well, let's go use that and they end up doing terrible guys don't just think that because he's using it you have to also use guns that you think that you can use the best Fifth thing, play with your friends, guys. Playing with your friends also helps you become a better Call of Duty player because you have communication with your friends now. When you are playing with your friends, you can communicate more, you can learn more about the map, and it gives you a higher chance of getting the win. So therefore, your win KD will go up, and you also learn a little bit more about the map because you're calling out plays, and you know you can communicate more, get more kills that way. Last thing I like to talk about is be smart about your guns, guys, and on what map you use them on. If you're playing on a small map, there's no point of using a sniper rifle unless you're quick scoping or something like that. If it's a smaller map, I suggest using a submachine gun because you're going to be turning corners, getting quicker kills. If it's a larger map, use a an assault rifle or maybe a sniper in that case. So. That's what I wanted to talk, uh, talk about today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video on how to become a better Modern Warfare 3 player. If you guys enjoyed it, leave me a like, subscribe, guys. Also, go check out Vector Gaming Channel. They have some awesome videos on there. Also, check out Mr. KG331 and XBLG006. But don't forget Mr. Triple X Quick Scopes. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Mr. JP833, and I'm out.